What's going on guys? Welcome back to Play Mobile Nindy. Uh, today we're playing World Zombination again. I've been playing this game a whole lot and actually on my main side of things I've been playing the zombies a lot. I'm level 18 now, things are going along really well and it's really awesome. But of course it keeps bugging you like, hey you want to try the human side of it? Or the survivors? Of course I do. Of course I do. So I tried it out. I just got through the intro levels, uh, got my hero, just a few characters. Like I'm only level 2 as you can see here. It's really nothing... Uh, Nothing special, I guess, that so far. Like, I'm super, super, super early into it. Like, my team damage or rating is only 145 versus my other guys, which are, like, going to an attack at, like, 1100 power or something like that. Anyway, let's do a quick overview of some of the characters. Uh, well, I guess for the gameplay, this is totally different. This is your playing as a survivor is defending against the hordes. So in the hordes, you just... The whole idea is overwhelming numbers. People, 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 or drones are called. Just drones like crazy, mutate them, overwhelm with numbers. This is much smaller numbers, but you got to be really tact like tactical about it. You got to choose who am I going to put where, what team works well together. So, first character here, Captain Zeta, Captain Zeta, however you pronounce it, I'm sorry. So, this one right here is your hero. It's kind of like your Dr. Zombowitz. Super powerful, super good. You always want to use her. So if you have a look here, powerful attacks, drone-proof armor. So I'm assuming drones don't do any damage to her. I haven't looked this up. I can't guarantee that, but I'm assuming so. And go forth and destroy. Good health, good damage. I know like 164 health and 19 damage doesn't mean anything, but that is pretty good. Then you got your melee fighters. So firefighters are the guys that you want like up front, like the first line of defense as it were. So as you can see here, good health, pretty good damage, and... Uh, it says right in it, defend weaker units by placing him in their squad. So I'll skip ahead to a weaker unit, the gunfighter. So medium range, low damage, but fast rate of fire. This would be like if you're playing other types of tower defense, like your machine gun. Just really fast rate of fire, hits a whole bunch of the drones, but it's not going to be impressive damage once like the brutes or the colossus come in. So low health means you'll need to be protected, hence firefighter. Then there's lumberjack, which is kind of like another version of the firefighter really high health moderate area of effect damage so he's got a chainsaw which is super badass so he cuts through fucking everything and his whole thing is yeah mow down hordes of drones with him i don't know how much damage he does against regular guys like it says here uh sorry i'm pointing at the screen uh it says six damage that's not very impressive but i'm guessing it's constant 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 damage so the drones would be his best bet for uh defense or offense, I mean. Then we got Sniper. Obviously, Sniper is exactly what you think. Single shots, long range, very powerful. Very low health, 14 health. Like, one drone's going to take this guy out. But he can't shoot when he's at melee range. So you need him as far back as possible. But the cool thing is, it says targets large enemies first. So he'll go for the Brutes and the Colossus and, like, Dr. Zombowitz first or something like that. Versus just the drones. So he's not going to waste his shots. And the last character I have here is the Paramedic. So he uses small... Uh, fast heals on her on her uh, squad mates. Use her to support squad mates on the front lines. No attacks and low health protector. So this is your healer, just healing your units as you go. And I don't know how crazy the healing is. Like I don't know how fast she heals. Like is she going to be any good against a gunfighter? Still learning that. But I imagine against with a firefighter, something with high health that's supposed to be defend like uh, defending, going to be awesome. So same as the other thing, I got my upgrades going on here. And as opposed to like DNA and brains, it's food and supplies, I guess. Like it looks like crates. So let's do a fight. All right, so I'm early game. This is still the first campaign missions. I only, I've only done one campaign so far. So that lumberjack will make an excellent addition to the team. Thanks! Okay, yeah. So tap here to upgrade or update your team. Yeah, all right. So it's telling me get rid of one firefighter, add lumberjack. Fair, they're the same unit type, like they're the same melee, DPS, high health. And let's go for let's go fight. I've upgraded all my guys to at least level two just so I have a little bit more strength to work with because going in with all level ones sucks. All right, the lumberjack will mow down drones. Okay, <laughs> it said that in the description. I'm able to read. But what I really like is it shows you where you're going to be attacked from, what's coming out of them, and which one's attacking first. I don't like that you can't zoom in on it. Like, I can zoom in on the spot, but I can't see better what's there. But it looks like I got a runner, uh, like a reanimator guy, 
a brute, and I unfortunately can't quite make out what that last one is there. And this one, spitter, runner, reanimator, brute. So I'm assuming this last guy might be the exploding type. I apologize, I'm playing on a tiny little iPhone. I can't see. On the iPad, I'm sure I can see this just fine. So this is telling me first wave is going to be brutes, and I know I have snipers. So I'm going to want my snipers here. There's already one there, so it's already kind of telling you what you should have there. So lumberjacks up front. Uh, Zeta, I want right in the middle, so able to attack both sides. I'm trying to protect this hospital here. Gunfighters, paramedics, so I'm really protecting this hospital. So I've got a DPS, like tanky. Uh, so I got my DPS gunner, the tanky guy, and then someone to heal. So it's perfect. Let's get a gunner with this dude. And let's get a lumberjack. Yeah, let's get a lumberjack up there as well. No one's getting through this as far as I'm concerned. And let's do one more lumberjack right here with her. So she's not so lonely. And start wave. So you see it does like a three second countdown kind of thing. That little red bar and all the guys come pouring out. So it's perfect. The gunner's doing damage up front, taking down the drones like nothing. Oh, the lumberjack just goes ham on those drones. Oh, that looks so awesome. They're just laying them down. Like, there's not even a chance that they have here. My stim pack is available, but I don't think I need it. Instead, I'm going to place a lumberjack down here with Zeta. And the cool thing is I can tap on the fist and move them up closer so that they're attacking a lot sooner. All right, we're going to stim up right here. Hopefully it hits all of them. It did. Good. Lumberjack. Another gunner. Another paramedic. Oh, the gunner didn't... Oh, squad is full. I can only hold three there. So you can only hold so many troops. It's not like I can put a hundred troops on one thing, which makes total sense. Get a sniper down. Another gunner. Another gunner. <laughs> another lumberjack. And just get all your guys down. There's no reason not to have all your troops down. As soon as they're available, put your guys down. Like, whatever. All right, so here comes the real guys. So here comes a big brute who's done already. I stimmed up my guys way too early by the looks of it. I'm not sure if the, yeah, the snipers can reach that far. Like, look at them doing work. So the, the Brutes didn't even make it to my first guys, and, and that's already over. The Brutes didn't even make it to the first wave of guys before the snipers took them down. So you want them in, like, the best advantageous spot. Way at the back, huge range. I'm guessing they have unlimited range because that was crazy. So each deployed unit has used one stamina. Stamina recharges over time. Yeah, we already knew about that, or I already knew about that. I'm sorry if this is the first time you're seeing anything about this, but when you use them, you have three stamina bars, and as you use them, they lose stamina. It seems a little inconsistent. I haven't fully figured out how that works, unfortunately, because I'm an idiot, but um, I'm not sure if it's every time you deploy one and they recharge and deploy it again, that's two, or if it's every fight they're in, that's one, or how that works, but... Still working on figuring it out. So I'm about to unlock the flare, which will direct all my guys to be more in a more specific location. So my team power outweighs the danger, like the enemy power, I guess. So let's do it. Same strategy as before. The strategy will always be the same. It's like any tower defense game. Uh, tanky stuff up front, slow them down. DPS right behind them. Long range stuff as far back and as far out of harm's way as you can get them. And then just let them roll. So defend the fireworks factory to uncover the flare. Okay, so I can only put one person here. So I'm guessing they're kind of wanting you to put Zeta there. So I'm gonna. <laughs> Just because it feels like they really want her there. Sniper seems too obvious that it needs to go there. Because it protects that whole road. So I got my DPS. My first wave is coming here. So we're going Lumberjack and Firefighter and a damage dealer. I'm gonna put a healer over here and I'm gonna put a damage dealer right there as well because by the time, and then I'm gonna start wave, but the reason I'm only, only putting one there right now is because I have to worry about this first wave in a moment's time. I'll have a few more guys unlocked and I can reinforce her so she won't be so lonely. So that dual pistol wielding uh, girl back there with the gunner or whatever her name is is doing serious work but one of my guys is almost dead he got hurt bad but yeah perfect timing lumberjack or sorry that's the firefighter firefighter right up front looks like that's where my next wave's coming from so let's get a healer in there and a gunner and please there we go lumberjack 
stim them up stim z no reason not to use it again it makes them stronger i don't know if it makes them faster but it definitely makes them stronger and their damage goes up like crazy so sniper i'm actually gonna put a sniper here it seems silly i know but he can shoot both of these angles like he can shoot this one and this one so it's perfect all right let's get these guys stimmed and reinforce them a bit oh i can't okay so let's get a gunner back there then and let's get a healer in there. And another Lumberjack right there. Or Firefighter. I keep calling Lumberjack. I'm sorry. It's got an axe. Seems Lumberjacky. And I'm just putting troops down now for the sake of putting troops down. Just get them down. Get them out. But they are doing some serious, serious, serious work. So the spitters go down. Uh, lumberjacks, I imagine, have trouble against spitters because they have no range. So spitters have huge range. So that's why you always want to have a sniper there or... Uh, one of the gunner girls or something like that and units deploy see they're all red so they're all tired and we're gonna take 45 minutes an hour i don't remember i'm gonna find out in one second so i unlock 270 food 270 food and one more firefighter pretty good for, as far as i'm concerned i can hold 100 troops so yeah bring them on flare awesome so the flare and other skills can be improved with research the flare is now available. Let's research it. For 500. Mm, yeah, that's fine. So, distracts the zombies for two seconds. Oh, okay, so with the zombies, it actually makes perfect sense. With the zombies, you flare it and they all go to it. So I'm assuming that's the same thing. You flare and they all go to it and it's for two seconds. But I imagine through here, decreases flare's cooldown to 35 seconds. Yeah, increases duration from two to two and a half seconds. So it makes sense. As you go, you can distract them longer and longer and longer. And then Stimzy decreases Stimzy's school down from 20 to 18 seconds. Anyway, so I got two of my troops, or no, I got one troop done training here. That is the firefighter. So from team power 20 to 30, that's great. Health from 145 to 189, that's huge. That's like 20% or whatever. And then damage 12 to 16, that's fantastic as well. Let's get another guy going. Uh, this I got a level one dude here. And if you saw my old video, you'll know if it's only one minute, it's free. It's not just as cut and dry as that. It's like one minute is free or whatever. I've got guys where it's at 20 minutes left, it's free, but that's because it took 10 hours to train them or to upgrade them. So I think it's a percentage left type idea. So we'll get this other firefighter. No reason not to, seeing as it's free. Free in the gem sense, like in the, the coins, tokens, that looks like a little biohazard thing on it. And I'm really digging the lumberjack. So we're going to upgrade him again. And I'm actually going to finish them right away so I can see. So, yeah, 123 to 164 health and 6 to 8 damage. The damage is super, like, not awesome. But he just mows the drones like crazy. So let's level him up again. All right. So anyway, that's it for today. I hope you uh, learned a little bit something about this. The humans are really cool. It's much more... I feel like I have a little bit more control as to the outcome because I know where everything's coming from. But I've, I'm loving playing as the zombies so much. Just being able to just overwhelm, make a brute, Dr. Zombowitz, I don't know. It's just crazy. I like the whole mass numbers appeal to it. It's absolutely fantastic. This game has been killing all my time. Like, I'm genuinely ignoring other games right now just to play this game. Oh, and I'm level 3 now, so perfect. I should join a guild. So anyway, thanks, for, uh, thanks so much for watching Play Mobile in India. I hope you liked this episode. If you did, click that like down below. It helps out a great deal. And subscribe if you want to see more content like this in the future. And for now, I hope to see you guys on the next episode.